Today's horror manga dub narration is Blue Franju by Reiroku Haru. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to Reina. Check her out in the description below as well as pinned in the top comment. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into Blue Franju. Give me a lover. Give me a lover. Give me a lover. A skinny, skinny lover. With thin, thin pale bones. A blood-stained lover. Like so. You walk stumbling on amethyst, broken and shattered. The shards of crystal sparkle beautifully as they shred you. Through the flowing blood lets out a terrible, terrible creaking sound. This harmony. You no longer feel any pain, or tears, or even resignation. Were I to find you like that, I would with my trembling and shaking arms. Under the soundless indigo sky, tightly, tightly, nearly strangling you, holding you close. And so please, grant me a lover, grant me a lover, with hair of thorns and dry lips. A miserable lover. Like so, can you see? A girl standing still, in front of a silver painted casket, as she cries, silently, throwing into the casket green, green roses. Without rest, without rest, forever, forever. She mourns for eleven kittens and a small white butterfly, a blind dress up doll sunk to the bottom of the lake, a mermaid princess swaying with a glass cane under the branches of an ash. That is the one you kept asking to kiss, a violet prostitute. Quickly under the starless and wet sky, were I to meet you like that, hands over my quivering and freshly picked heart, gently, gently. However, wearing black satin, Wearing black satin. For how long have I already wandered? How many needles are piercing my forehead? How many wounded souls have I had until now? With broken nails and these golden origami? How many little birds have I made that cannot fly? Oh, though it be so, cast the shooting stars this evening so that you may find me and then wrap yourself in the night's endless skin of darkness so that you may sleep tonight. Quickly soar, soar little birds, illuminated by the pupils of sugar bats and mercury vapor. Go, go and peck at the flesh of the round moon. Then, on your eyelids, frozen shut, my wavering, feverish color will surely be reflected. Like so, Above the spring of lapis lazuli, the peppermint voice of the daisy spider is singing. The sound that was lost, the voice that was forgotten, the feel of someone's lips, the fragrance of a tied ribbon. The melody of tulle embroidery rises up to the country of silhouettes. The fish with elliptical heads and fins of zinc, they dream in the midnight clouds while shedding tears of malachite. You, a daffodil that knows no petals. I, a mad and cowardly, cowardly paper balloon. Your hair is calmly swaying in a saltless sea. I am struck by the endless rains. The flowing blood pours down on all things that are lifeless. Oh, give me a lover, give me a lover. Give me the kitten number 12. And then, above the hillock of phosphorus light, let us take my exhausted pelvis and exchange it with, with your lacrimal bone shards bundled in cotton. That was a secretive promise from a millennia before. A magic lantern slides off a banked fire from a millennia later. Hazy sleep amber time. Seashell murmurs while strawberry blinks, sounding through dusk, the flight of the ghostly princess is the color of honey. 
Without any birth, without any death, all things begin and end in this place. If I were to meet you before the night fades away, I want to be killed by you. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus, Moto Surf, Leo, Dason Animus, Minyu Wei, Rich Harris, Andre Wolf, Tanya M, Kago, and Voodoo. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.